Hey everyone, my name is Jay Marshall. I'm Principal Cloud Development Strategist for VMware's vCloud Air Business Unit. I'm welcoming you to the five starting points for VMware vCloud Air video series, this particular one focusing on dev and test. And these are intended to be very short clips to give you an introductory path onto our public cloud platform. We've set them up based off of situations we've seen our customers deal with that we see common patterns that we're hoping to repeat for you so that you can make an easy on-ramp into our public cloud. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at some of the key customer challenges specific to test and dev environments that we feel map very well uh, to a public cloud offering. We're gonna see how those challenges translate into specific requirements, and then of course how vCloud Air can help you meet those requirements, and then we'll ramp up. So let's get started. So when we look at most of our customers inside their data center, we see as much as a seven to one ratio of infrastructure being provisioned for test dev purposes versus production. And so when you think of some of the inconsistencies that can creep in when creating these test dev environments, or even areas of dynamism, once again, where how many environments do I have? Do I have three, five, seven? What about emergency break fix type environments? These things can cause real havoc in how you design your data center strategy. Of course, things like cost, because these things aren't free, and the time that it takes to everything from racking and stacking hardware through installing virtualization to actually provisioning those virtual machines for our customers. So when you put all of this together, test dev can make up to 70% of our customer's data center. And that's sunk cost for things that a lot of accountants might not even think bring value. Now, for those of us that are in this business, we know you need test dev to get into production, right? But how can we maybe be a little bit more cost effective? Can we leverage things like the cloud to make this more reasonable inside of our own four walls, but burst to the cloud whenever it makes sense? So when we look at some of the common solution requirements for solving this problem, we want reliable compute capacity on demand. That's what the cloud has promised us, right? But we also wanna be able to easily replicate the entire application environment so that we have portability back and forth. We'd like to automate our software development life cycle but it would be nice to leverage the existing processes, tools, and investments that we already have in-house. You know, optimizing resource utilization is something vSphere has obviously done for us over the years, but we want to be able to translate that to the cloud as well. And of course, self-service access for infrastructure, which is another base tenant of the cloud that we've gotten used to over the years. So in terms of how vCloud Air meets these key requirements, whether it's our virtual private cloud offering, the dedicated cloud offering where it's your own compute, or our VPC on-demand push button deploy, you have reliable compute capacity on demand. You can also completely replicate your entire application stack thanks to the underlying vSphere platform allows you to deploy consistently to whether it's your private data center or the cloud. We love to automate our software development life cycle like we said a minute ago, but you can leverage tools like vCloud Automation Center, now vRealize Automation, or vRealize Application Services to provide that level of automation. And in the case of a dedicated cloud offering, you can actually overcommit your CPU and RAM just like you do on vSphere. So the number of virtual machines you can pack into that dedicated cloud actually makes our cloud a very, very attractive option for test dev workloads by virtue of the number of them you can run on the cloud. And whether you use our own dashboard uh, to log into vCloud Air to do your provisioning, or if you use it as an endpoint for vRealize Automation or other dashboard tools, you can give self-service to your users. So we break it down into four themes for our test and development initiatives. We wrap them around things like new packaged applications. So today, competitive differentiation for most organizations is being established through software. And so the ability to allow our business to try new pieces of software out is very important. But that's hard to do, once again, if you don't have the capacity or if you don't even know how to plan for it. Developing new in-house applications, once again, for custom application development shops. You know, that sandboxing aspect of building new apps quickly is what made the cloud very popular. But how do I do that on top of vCloud Air so I can bring it right back in-house? Upgrading existing applications. As I mentioned a minute ago, 70% of infrastructure set aside for test dev. What if I don't have to reserve that capacity because even for things like upgrades, I can make copies, push them out to vCloud Air, do my update, and bring them back in-house. And then finally, cloudifying your software development lifecycle. This is where we're talking about creating a true DevOps environment using tools like Puppet or Chef, or our own tools like the vRealize suite, and introducing cloud as an endpoint to do your test and dev 
and without making any changes, be able to roll it onto vSphere, once again, because of that same underlying platform. So these are four themes that we tend to focus on when we talk about doing test dev with vCloud Air. Now to illustrate, we're actually going to use the test new applications example that I mentioned before. And once again, just to set the stage, uh, we're gonna use Sugar CRM as our application. Okay, so it's an open source CRM package. And you might be in a business unit that sits back and says, you know, we have this package and we've been using it for years, but we really wanna do something different. And when they do that and they come to you for capacity, what's the response typically? What I see in customers is it's a long drawn out process to determine how to provision capacity, where the budgets are, where am I gonna place it, all for a project that may never take off uh, or get off the ground. So if that's the case, why even go through all those problems and all those steps? Why don't we just spin it up on the cloud, and if it works, then we'll bring it back in-house. So let's take a look at how that would work. So what you're looking at here is our vCloud Air console. Now you will notice it says vCloud Hybrid Service. Uh, we did went, recently went through a branding change, uh, but everything is the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into the console here with my credentials, and we'll see the sign in button circled in red here. So when we sign into vCloud Air, the first thing you'll see is the dashboard. So this is our dashboard of resources, shows us what we've consumed, what we have available, and you see we have a virtual data center inside of here, and that's where all of our virtual machines reside. You'll notice at the top, we have a tab for virtual machines. If I click on that, we see the list as you would expect, of our virtual machines, our vCPU, our RAM, and everything that is inside of my, my provision cloud. If I click on the right under add virtual machines, this is where it'll bring me up to my list of virtual data centers. Now, this being a demo environment where I grabbed these screens from, we only have one today. But if you had various virtual private clouds and or dedicated cloud instances, you would have a list of them right here. So in this case, I'll only pick the one, and of course select continue. And now it brings me to the catalog of OS images that I can select from. Now, these are the operating system images that we give you out of the box. You can just pick one and go. But you'll notice the tab along the top for my catalog. You can actually do a catalog content sync with your own vSphere images. So in the case of something like Sugar CRM that we're demoing today, you probably still want to put it on top of whatever operating system images that you approve in your own four walls. So instead of picking one of our OS images, you could synchronize your own templates and pick that to deploy because once again, it's the same vSphere platform. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and pick the CentOS that vCloud Air provides out of the box. And when I hit continue, I will go ahead now and put in my information. I'll be very creative and say Sugar CRM. So we'll put our information in. This is just your basic virtual machine parameters around CPU, memory, what kind of disk I wanna provide. You can actually do uh, different tiers of storage. And I'll simply select deploy virtual machine. So when I do that, and of course we sped this up for demo purposes, uh, you'll now see that Sugar CRM virtual machine sitting in my virtual data center. Now, as obvious as this might sound, I wanna point out at this stage, even though it says Sugar CRM, it's just a virtual machine, right? It's just a naked VM sitting on vCloud Air waiting for you to do something with it. So at this stage now, whether it's yourself or maybe you guys have middleware uh, groups in your organization, this is where you would go ahead and put down your PHP, Apache, MySQL, you know, whatever supporting technologies are required to put on that virtual machine. So you're going through the same process you'd be going through in your own four walls. So once I have this base middleware set up, I go ahead and put Sugar CRM down. This is the Sugar CRM setup wizard. I would step through next, next, finish. And eventually I end up with Sugar CRM. Now, what I want to come back to is this process should seem very similar to any other kind of new application setup that you have. The difference is, once again, you didn't have to procure hardware, you didn't have to do anything in your own four walls. So you can now turn this over to your users and have them go try the application out. Now, if it doesn't work out, like I mentioned before, and they decide, ah, we're, we're not going to go with this, you simply go out and delete the virtual machine, and you're done. And with our on-demand offering, you're only paying by the minute for having tried that out. But the difference with our offering and what you can do with vSphere and vCloud Air together is if you guys decide you want to use Sugar CRM, you can simply go back in, and as we saw here a minute ago with Sugar CRM, with our vCloud connector product, which is free, you can simply select that virtual machine, 
say copy, and we already have our vSphere environment set up here, you simply select your internal vSphere environment and say next, next, finish. And as we've once again time lapsed here, we can see that our Sugar CRM virtual machine is now inside our own four walls and exposed to the vSphere web client. So obviously we kind of sped through some of those pieces and some parts you have to do behind the scenes. But the moral of the story is when we talk about extending your data center, this is what we're talking about. You can use vCloud Air as a sandbox to test brand new applications. And if they're successful, you know you can bring them right inside your four walls with no changes. So in summary, the three main value props that we see in test dev on vCloud Air, we help you accelerate your development process because you don't have to worry about overhead. We can improve the testing and accuracy of your application development lifecycle by virtue of the same underlying vSphere platform as opposed to doing these things on other clouds where now you have to worry about how you bring it back in-house. And we remove budget barriers because you do not have to plan for these things moving forward. So thanks for watching this first video series. These are intended to be small chunks that you can walk away and try on your own. So if you're interested in doing that, I invite you to please go try VMware vCloud Air today. You can go sign up, get free credits, absolutely no commitments, and cancel anytime you want. You can see the link on your screen right now. I implore you to check it out and reach out to your local VMware teams if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching.